Right, good morning. Welcome back to Steel Pro TV and thanks for joining The Average Golfer for some more product testing and uh, an interesting week last week I reviewed the Ping G400 iron. Uh, it's been doing its rounds, plenty of videos out there at the moment, plenty of opinions and I'd suggest that pretty much all of them have been very very good indeed. What I want to do today is I've got Ping G400 again but I'm going to put it up against the Ping G iron. Now I reviewed this club, uh, it was one of the first video reviews I did actually, it's about 18 months ago and I've got to say I was very impressed with this G-Iron when it was released then and with the two club heads in my hand visually there is very very little to separate them to be quite honest with you. The one notable difference is, uh, well straight away is the finish, so it's got this, I think they call it Hydra Pearl finish, Ping have called this one, so uh, I'd say it's a more satin look. Um, I actually prefer it again, I prefer this look than what's on the G-Iron but I think that's again very much a preference thing and we talked about it last week that in the, in the insert um, that's been placed in the back into the cavity of the club again it's this kind of rubber uh, which is supposed to again um, I think improve sound, improve feel out the club face but very much like I said the, um, the core eye technology everything uh, is very very similar it's hard to separate top line again I would suggest this seems to look a little bit more compact it's probably slightly thinner if anything but again I don't know whether this this uh, satin finish just makes the club head seem a little bit smaller to dress and also with the offset as well I can't see it as much but I've looked at the stats on ping website and the offset is identical again but it's funny how these little tweaks and changes just in a color of a club head alone can maybe uh, make the eye see things slightly differently. Anyway, um, I don't think there's a great deal else to discuss. Like I said, it's all about now performance. I'd like to see if we can see in numbers how much better or how much improved is the G400 compared to its predecessor, the G Iron. So, as ever, let's switch this camera and get in some golf balls. Okay, all good to go. Uh, camera in position, exactly the same shaft we're going to use, which is AWT stiff steel shaft. I'm going to use this in both the irons. It's again, it's the same that I used in last week's G400 testing. So let's hit some golf balls. As ever, like I said straight away, you pick this G-Iron up and again it's got terrific. I like the ball flight on them, it's really gone out there, 20 degrees worth of launch. Spin again is back down low at 5,000 but again that is consistent with what I would get if you watch some of the better players. Um, well, I say better players, it's more about how you, again the strike on the ball, I tend to turn the ball over a little bit, my spin is never that high. Um, so 5,000 is comparable to what I would use with my current MP5 irons. Okay, so that's uh, five shots in the bag with the uh, G iron. Before we make an overall assessment, let's uh, get it in with the G400. I'll come back at the end and we'll have a look and a little bit of a compare up of the figures. Red dot, there we go. Gorgeous day, it's open week. I'm off from here, I'm on the way to uh, watch practice day number one. Don't forget this is Monday, I film this. Uh, so interesting to see who's out there on the practice ground today.
think so that's 10 balls on camera and uh, in my hand here is uh, a little look at the numbers and a compare between the two and I've got to say there's massive differences between them and I'll get to what I think is the difference very shortly but if you look at the numbers top five balls are with the G iron and the second five are with the G400 first of all I would say that um, clubhead speed was particularly a bit lower today um, I made a point of since I tried the G400s last week uh, in my own game I tried to slow things down a little bit and uh, just look for a consistent ball strike and I've got to say played a little bit better last weekend as well and I've tried to do that again this morning so hit the ball as I would do out on the golf course rather than just trying to purely uh, nail it on a driving range so yeah reflective in the club head speeds as well slowed down considerably a bit quicker with the uh, G iron but again I'd say that's down to my swing more than anything else to do with it. And, and the spin number was, I'd say, slightly better with the G-Iron, to be quite honest with you. It launched slightly lower, spun slightly better. But again, I would attribute that to strike. I don't think there's any great differences in those two things. But I would say that the launch angle on the G400 is higher than that of the G-Iron. It's reflective in the, uh, in the numbers there, but visually, I can assure you, it seems to really fly out there and get up high. There's not massive difference numbers in the spin. And again, only achieving sort of 4,000 spin. Yes, it's very, very low. And again, I keep saying the same thing when you watch these people's videos. Make sure you compare to what their current spin is. So with my MP5s, like I said, good spin number 7.9 is still only 5,500 with me. So it's not a massive drop off, even though it seems and appears to be very, very low. But you've got to consider who's hitting this golf ball. Um, in terms of, again, carry distances, very, very similar. Not a great deal in it, arguably. Well, no, there's virtually nothing in it whatsoever. I would say that it's very hard to um, split the irons in terms of performance. What I would say on a personal note is this. I think the G400 looks visually more compact, so it's, it's much more... Uh, appealing on the eye to a wider range of players is what I would say and and I refer to the better player who may have ignored the game improvement iron as we're going to label it in the past and like I said that's what appealed to me it is much more compact I like the satin finish but also what I'd say they've improved massively and don't know whether it's to do with the rubber uh, dampener in the back but the sound and feel from the G400 is much more preferable than the G iron so I think what I would say in terms of performance if you've got the G-irons currently, for me, there's not a huge difference in the performance level. What I would say is the improvements are exactly in terms of looks, feel and sound. And I would say it's a slightly higher ball flight as well, but not necessarily that's an improvement. But that's what pe some people out there might be looking for. But overall, I love the G-iron when it come out. I'm still a massive fan of this G400 iron. And like I said, I'd urge players to get out there and try them for yourself because... Uh, these last few months is real eye open on golf clubs. Get out there, test the G400. But if you've got the G iron, maybe you can just sit tight for a little bit longer. I hope you enjoyed that one. As ever, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. It always helps. And comments down below. Always try and make every effort to reply uh, where I can. So, right, finish that one. Now move on to, I'm going to do the uh, M2 iron versus the G400 and uh, see how them two compare up. So stick around and watch that one. I'll see you soon.